Hey Sagittarius, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be your weekly reading. Any information you need, you can find it down below. I do have personals open. They are $25. Um, that information is down there. You could also check me out on Patreon. Um, I did just do some love readings over there. Um, that's what I'm doing this week. I do additional content over there for each sign um, every week. So if y'all are interested, that, that link is down below. Okay. Um, it's not just love readings. It's, you know, different kinds of content. Last week I did the mid-monthlies. Um, bonuses for that. I think I did love in the beginning of the month uh, also, actually. I've got April through June bonuses coming. And then April bonuses. So, yeah. If you all want to... Um, Follow the Patreon page. The link is down below. All right. I also have a tarot course if you're interested. Okay. Sagittarius. That's standing out to me because Nine of Pentacles to the Ace. Like there's Ace right beside it. I feel like you are very close to achieving something that you're wanting here because Nine was the Ace is the Ten. Tens are completion in the tarot. The Ten of Pentacles, best money card in the deck. I feel like you are very close to having something in order exactly the way that you want it. The Magician is your overall energy here. So that's a card of manifestation. Um, you know, connection to the divine. So having a lot of skills. Or, um, yeah, having a lot of skills. But I also feel that, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles showing up here, there's something that you've been doing for a long time. Venus and Virgo. You could have Venus and Virgo. You don't have to. Three of Swords. Yeah, I almost feel like you're a little bit sick of something here, Sagittarius. What's going on with this? Somebody could have Saturn in Libra. Um, Five of Pentacles, Mercury in Virgo. So even if you make decent money here with whatever it is that you've done, um, you know, I still feel as if you are lacking in terms of like feeling like this has meaning for some of you or feeling like you are connected to it still. You have the Empress here. So there's something new growing. Um, there's something new that you're investing in or they're telling you, they're giving you the green light right here. This reading is giving you the green light to invest in it. You have the Ace of Pentacles. That seed has to hit the soil, okay? So I think that's exactly what's going on here. They're saying like this chapter has come to an end. Whatever this is that you're tired of doing for a living here, you may make all right money. It may support you, but... And that's not saying walk out on your job with no plan B, right? That's not what that's saying here. But, you know, they're kind of giving you the green light that it's okay to invest in this path, right? Because it's just not, whatever you're on right now, it's just not really fulfilling you for those of you where I'm connecting. You have the Seven of Wands reversed and the Death card right here clarifying the um, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you have to be willing to make a move here, Nine of Swords, and it may be a little bit scary. Um, but yeah, I think you're having to make an investment. Seven of Wands reversed, put, letting your walls down, the Death card, a big change, something you've never done before. Um, and that Nine of Swords energy, it is scary. But I think you know that you have to do this as well. Some of you, you know that you have to uh, end a relationship in order to have a genuine commitment, uh, end a connection, you know, in order to have a genuine commitment, even if it is a relationship. I feel as if, you know, there's something here that is not, it's not, go it's not going any further, right? So I think you're realizing you have to end that as well. Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo. What's going on with the Six of Wands? Reverse. Seven of Pentacles. There's something here you're no longer giving attention to. I think you were waiting on it to grow for a very long time and you're just no longer giving attention to it. I think you're losing emotion for it. You're losing emotion for a person is how this feels to me, Sagittarius. Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. I think you're letting them go. I do. I think you're letting someone go. You could have been in a space where you were just watching someone repeatedly. It's possible that you were, you know, sending a lot of messages or a lot of calls or, you know, whatever the case may be here. But I feel like you're letting go completely and finally, you know. King of Swords reverse. There's something here that's just not... Um, I don't want to say it's not truthful, but you're not getting the whole truth. I, I know that much. Knight of Swords reversed. Yeah, you're not getting the whole truth here. Somebody is being very careful about what they express to you. Um, three of Wands. It could be an Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They, they know how you're going to react. They know how you're going to respond. You're Sagittarius. So, what's happening with this? I feel like they are like they, they, they have the foresight to plan what they're going to say to you about something here. The devil reversed. Hmm. I feel like there's something here that you're wanting a person to stop doing, a family member possibly, or a spouse. Like you're wanting this person to let go of something. They're, they're manipulating you to the max here. So that's something that you need to recognize as well. Like there's definitely some manipulation going on here, some lies being told. But it feels like it's because somebody's trying to feed a habit and they, they have to lie in order to do that. So 
that's one thing that I'm feeling here. Uh, for others of you, I do feel like there's something being um, sent away. I feel like you're sending away a toxic energy here with the devil being in the reverse position. I feel like that could be what you're letting go of. Like there's somebody here who lies too much or they're not, or they're at least just not truthful. You know, they're not open enough with you. So that's a problem. That's a problem. And they may have a temper issue. Like they fly off the handle at you. Like there is a lot of toxicity right there within that. What else is going on? Queen of Pentacles. This could be someone in the home, or like I said, family, someone you're committed to, but there's too much uncertainty. Even if, for example, like, this person could be telling the truth about, like, say, that there's something you don't want them doing. I know that already. There's something you don't want them doing, and it's like, even if they were not doing it, you would not believe them about not doing it, because they've done it so many times and said they were not. You know, it's the trust is destroyed. The trust destroyed. It's gone. So it's like you, you can't carry on with this. I think you're seeing that. Seven of Swords reversed. I think that's coming out. Somebody could have their moon in Aquarius. What's going on with this? Very weird reading here, Sagittarius. <laughs> Sorry, it's so specific. Two of Swords reversed. Moon in Libra. The Fool. Okay. All right. I also feel like for some of you, you have kind of held back, Sagittarius. Held back your truth. Held back the things that you want to say. Nine of Cups, trying to please people around you. Yeah, trying to satisfy people around you. The High Priestess. So I think you're realizing that nobody really knows you. They don't really know you, right? So that's very isolating. That's a very isolating realization. And the Seven of Swords reverse. The Seven of Swords upright is like trickery, theft, deception, holding back. Not only were you kind of you know, deceiving others, maybe unknowingly, but, you know, you were doing that, and you were also deceiving yourself, because it's like, p people liked what you were, what you were putting out there, not necessarily, like, what they could relate to, not necessarily you, yourself, so I think that you are moving into that space where you're kind of, like, being vulnerable just gradually, you know, a little bit at a time, uh, seeing who deserves more of you, and, you know, who you need to pull back with, right? The fool, you're taking a risk, you're putting yourself out there, and that's a really good thing, I feel like you're getting a lot of support, um, genuine support, not just folks who are like, oh, I like that, you know, that, that pleases me, that satisfies me, so, yeah, I'll keep Sagittarius around, right? Uh, you don't need that. You got the Ace of Cups right here, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, which, again, is interesting because you have the Nine here and the Ace here, so Ten of Cups, one of the happiest cards in the deck, Judgment and the Hangman, Scorpio and Aries, and we got Pisces there with the Hangman. Yeah, you're in a space where you're not forcing anything, like, you're not, Judgment to the Hangman, like, the Hangman is like, you know, I don't care kind of energy, I'm going to hang here, right? And it's just like, you're not forcing, you know, you're not forcing somebody to have a specific opinion. Like, if they're passing judgment, it's like, whatever, I'm happy. And, you know, that that's what matters to me. Knight of Cups in the reverse position, I'm not going to not be who I am, you know, just because it's it's something that uh, you're not comfortable with, right? Or you may have some, like, a lot of deep emotions, Sagittarius, that somebody around you is not comfortable with. It's like, bye, goodbye then, you know? A lot of people could be, like, trying to get you out of um, certain energies because it makes them uncomfortable. That could be something that's going on as well. So, you know, I think that you are trying to really shut out energies like that that are just not comfortable with truth. Yeah. Because um, you're not in a space where you're trying to attract more individuals who are not truthful with you. I think that you are starting to step into your truth. And because of that, you're attracting more truth. People from your past will probably start coming back expressing truth to you. You may get random strangers expressing random truths to you, right? People coming up to you in the grocery store. Like, does that ever happen to you? Or am I the only one? Like, <laughs> it's weird. You know, you just have that face or you just have that energy about you where, you know, people feel like they should tell you things. And I think that that's something that's uh, happening to you a little bit more. But I do think that you are attracting more honest individuals, okay? So, yeah, make sure that you're keeping the um, ones who are not honest at arm's length. All right, Sagittarius, I do have, um, I'm sorry, that was such a weird reading. You're more than welcome to watch out for your other signs. And I do have additional content on Patreon, like I said. Um, you could also book a personal uh, and check out my tarot course information. And what else? Oh, I have other content on TikTok and Instagram. It's free. Uh, check me out over there. So the links are down below if this is where we part. Thank you all for watching and supporting me. And you enjoy your week. Bye.